Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover fraction word problems involving division. Let's jump into number one, where we have Lewis has two thirds of a gallon of paint. Each wall he is painting requires one fourth of a gallon of paint. How many walls can Lewis paint? If he needs to paint four walls, does he have enough paint? So thinking through this problem, Lewis is starting with two thirds of a gallon of paint and he is splitting or dividing that paint into groups of one fourth of a gallon. Each wall needs one fourth of a gallon. So we need to do two thirds divided by one fourth. That's going to tell us how many walls Lewis can paint and if he has enough for four walls. Now remember, when we divide fractions, we keep, switch, flip. So we keep the first fraction. Then we switch to multiplication and flip our second fraction. So four is now the numerator and one is now the denominator. Now we can multiply straight across. So the numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. Two times four gives us eight and three times one gives us three. So we end up with eight thirds, which is an improper fraction. So let's convert this to a mixed number. And we do this by dividing the numerator eight by the denominator three. So we need to do eight divided by three. So how many whole groups of three in eight? Well, two. So two is our whole number. That gets us to six. So we have a remainder here. We have a remainder of two. That's our numerator of the fractional part. And then we keep our denominator the same. So we get two and two thirds. So how many walls can Lewis paint? Well, two and two thirds. So not quite three walls. So this is our answer here. Now, can Lewis paint four walls? Does he have enough paint? No. So let's put no, he does not have enough paint. Let's move on to number two, where we have a baker is making cupcakes. He has 15 cups of sugar. Each batch of cupcakes requires three fourths of a cup of sugar. How many batches can he make? So what we need to do here, the baker is starting with 15 cups of sugar and he's splitting or dividing those 15 cups of sugar into groups of three fourths of a cup of sugar. So we need to do 15 divided by three fourths. So let's keep, and I'm going to rewrite 15 in fractional form. So I'm putting it over one. That way we have a numerator and a denominator. This still equals 15. So we're not changing the value of 15 here. So keep, switch, and then flip. So four over three. And now we can multiply. Let's start with the numerators. So we have 15 times four. That gives us 60. Now for the denominators, one times three, that gives us three. And we end up with 60 thirds, which is an improper fraction. So let's convert this to a mixed number by dividing the numerator 60 by the denominator three. So we need to do 60 divided by three. That gives us 20. And we do not have a remainder. This is just going to be a whole number here. So our answer is 20. How many batches can he make? 20 batches. Lastly, let's move on to number three, where we have Gwen has one half of a bag of soil. She wants to split it evenly among eight pots. What fraction of the bag will each pot 
receive. So in order to solve this, we know that Gwen has one half of a bag of soil and she's splitting it or dividing it among eight pots. So Gwen is starting with half a bag and dividing it between eight pots. So let's keep switch flip here. So keep one half, switch to multiplication, and then we need to flip eight. So let's write eight in fractional form by putting it over one, and now we can flip it. So one is our numerator and eight is our denominator. Now we can multiply. So the numerators, one times one gives us one. And then for the denominators, two times eight gives us 16. So our answer here, one sixteenth. Looking back at the original question, what fraction of the bag will each pot receive? Well, one sixteenth of the bag. So there you have it. There are a few fraction word problems involving division. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.